Now that the gloomy shadow of the night, longing to view Orion's drizzling look, leaps from the Antarctic world unto the sky, and dims the welkin with her pitchy breath. Faustus, begin thine incantation, and try if devils will obey thy hest, seeing thou hast prayed and sacrificed to them. Within this circle is Jehovah's name, forward and backward, anagrammatized. The abbreviated names of holy saints, figures of every adjunct to the heavens, and characters of signs and erring stars by which the spirits are enforced to rise. Then fear not, Faustus, to be resolute, and try the utmost magic can perform. Sint mihi dei acerontis propitiae, vale et numen triplex Jehovae, igniae, eriae, aquitanae spiritus, salvete, orientes princeps Beelzebub, infernae ardentis monarca, et demogorgon, propitiamus vos, ut apiliat, et surgat, mephostophilis, quod tu morares, for Jehoam, Gehenam, et consecratum aquam quam nunc spargo, signumcre crucis quod nunc facio, et per vota nostra ipse nunc surgat nobisticatus mephostophilis. I charge thee to return and change thy shape. Thou art too ugly to attend on me. Go! I see there's virtue in my heavenly words. <laughs> Who would not be proficient in this art? How pliant is this Mephistopheles, full of obedience and humility. Such is the force of magic and my spells. Now, Faustus, what wouldst thou have me do? I charge thee wait upon me whilst I live, to do whatever Faustus shall command, be it to make the moon drop from her sphere or the ocean to o'erwhelm the world. I am a servant to great Lucifer, and may not follow thee without his leave. No more than he commands must we perform. And what are you that dwell with Lucifer? Unhappy spirits that fell with Lucifer, conspired against our God with Lucifer, and are forever damned with Lucifer. Where are you damned? In hell. How comes it, then, that thou art out of hell? Why, this is hell, nor am I out of it. Think'st thou that I, that saw the face of God, and tasted the eternal joys of heaven, am not tormented with ten thousand hells in being deprived of everlasting bliss? O oh, Faustus, leave these frivolous demands which strike a terror to my fainting soul. What? Is great Mephistopheles so passionate for being deprived of the joys of heaven? Learn thou of Faustus' manly fortitude, and scorn those joys thou never shalt possess. Go and return to mighty Lucifer, and then resolve me of thy master's mind. I will, Faustus. Had I as many souls as there be stars, I'd give them all for Mephistopheles. Sweet Faustus, leave that execrable art. Contrition, prayer, repentance, what of these? Oh, they are means to bring thee unto heaven. Rather illusions. Fruits of lunacy that make men foolish that do use them most. Sweet Faustus, think of heaven and heavenly things. No, Faustus, think of honour and of wealth. Of wealth? Why, the seigniory of Emden shall be mine. When Mephistopheles shall stand by me, what god can hurt thee, Faustus? Thou art safe. Cast no more doubts. Come, Mephistopheles, and bring glad tidings from great Lucifer. Is not midnight? Come, Mephistopheles. Veni, veni, Mephistophele. Now, tell me, what saith Lucifer thy lord? That I shall wait on Faustus whilst he lives, so he will buy my service with his soul. Already Faustus hath hazarded that for thee. But now thou must bequeath it solemnly, and write a deed of gift with thine own blood, for that security craves Lucifer. If thou deny it, I will back to hell. Stay, Mephistopheles, and tell me, what good will my soul do thy lord? Enlarge his kingdom. Is that the reason why he tempts us thus? In company the miserable find solace. Why? Have you any pain that torture others? As great as have the human souls of men. But tell me, Faustus, 
shall I have thy soul? And I will be thy slave, and wait on thee, and give thee more than thou hast wit to ask. Aye, take it, and the devil give thee good of it. Now, Faustus, ask me what thou wilt. First will I question with thee about hell. Tell me, where is the place that men call hell? Under the heavens. Aye, so are all things else, but whereabouts? Within the bowels of these elements, where we are tortured and remain forever. Hell hath no limits, nor is circumscribed in one self place. But where we are is hell, and where hell is, there must we ever be. And to conclude, when all the world dissolves, and every creature shall be purified, all places shall be hell that is not heaven. Come, I think hell's a fable. I think so still, till experience change thy mind. Think'st thou that Faustus is so fond to imagine that after this life there is any pain? Tush, these are trifles and mere old wives' tales. But Faustus, I am an instance to prove the contrary, for I tell thee I am damned, and now in hell. How? Now in hell? Nay, and this be hell, I'll willingly be damned here. What? Sleeping, eating, walking and disputing? Now tell me, who made the world? I will not. <laughs> Sweet Mephistopheles, tell me. Move me not, Faustus. Villain, have I not bound thee to tell me anything? I, that is not against our kingdom, but this is. Think on hell, Faustus, for thou art damned. Think, Faustus, upon God that made the world. But, Faustus, thinkst thou heaven is such a glorious thing? I tell thee, Faustus, it is not half so fair as thou, or any man that breathes on earth. How provest thou that? It was made for man. Then he's more excellent. If heaven was made for man, twas made for me. I will renounce this magic and repent. Remember this. I go, accursed spirit, to ugly hell. Tis thou hast damned, distressed Faustus' soul. Faustus, repent. Yet God will pity thee. Thou art a spirit. God cannot pity thee. Who buzzeth in mine ears I am a spirit? Be I a devil, yet God may pity me. Yea, God will pity me if I repent. Aye, but Faustus never shall repent. My heart's so hardened I cannot repent. Scarce can I name salvation, faith, or heaven, but fearful echoes thunder in mine ears. Faustus, thou art damned. Then swords and knives, poison, guns, Altars and envenomed steel are laid before me to dispatch myself. And long ere this I should have done the deed. Had not sweet pleasure conquered deep despair, shall I not make blind Homer sing to me? And shall not he that built the walls of Thebes with ravishing sound of his melodious harp make music with my Mephistopheles? Why should I die then, or basely despair? I am resolved. Faustus shall not repent. Too late. Never too late. If Faustus will repent... If thou repent, devil shall tear thee in pieces. Repent, and they shall never raise thy skin. O oh Christ, my Saviour, seek to save distressed Faustus' soul. <laughs> Christ cannot save thy soul, for he is just. There's none but I have interest in the same. Oh, what art thou that looks so terribly? I am Lucifer. And this is my companion prince in hell. Oh, Faustus, they are come to fetch away thy soul. We are come to tell thee thou dost injure us. Thou callst on Christ, contrary to thy promise. Thou shouldst not think on God, think on the devil, and on his dam too. Nor will I henceforth. Pardon me in this, and Faustus vows never to look to heaven. So shalt thou show thyself an obedient servant, and we will highly gratify thee for it. Faustus, we are come from hell in person to show thee some pastime. Sit down, and thou shalt behold the seven deadly sins appear to thee in their own proper shapes and likeness. That sight will be as pleasant unto me as paradise was to Adam the first day of his creation. Talk not of paradise nor creation, but mark this show. 
Talk of the devil and nothing else. Go, Mephistopheles, fetch them in. Now, Faustus, examine them of their names and dispositions. What art thou, the first? I am pride. I disdain to have any parents. I am like to of its flea. I can creep into every corner of a wench. Sometimes, like a periwig, I sit upon her brow. Next, like a necklace, I hang about her neck. Then, like a fan of feathers, I kiss her lips. And then, turning myself to a wrought smock, do what I list. But fie, what a smell is here! I'll not speak a word more for a king's ransom, unless the ground be perfumed and covered with cloth of arras. Thou art a proud knave indeed. What art thou, the second? I am covetousness, begotten of an old churl in a leather bag. And might I now obtain my wish, this house, you and all, should turn to gold, that I might lock you safe into my chest. Oh, my sweet gold! And what art thou, the third? I am envy, begotten of a chimney sweeper and an oyster wife. I cannot read, and therefore wish all books were burnt. I am grown lean with seeing others eat. Oh, that there would come a famine over all the world, that all might die, and I live alone. Then thou should see how fat I'd be. But must thou sit, and I stand, come down with a vengeance? Out, envious wretch! What art thou, the fourth? I am wroth. I had neither father nor mother. I leapt out of a lion's mouth when I was scarce an hour old, and ever since have run up and down the world with this case of rapiers, wounding myself when I could get none to fight withal. I was born in hell, and look to it, for some of you shall be my father. And what art thou, the fifth? I am gluttony. My parents are all dead, and the devil a penny they have left me, but a bare pension, and that buys me thirty meals a day and ten beffers. Small trifle to suffice nature. I come of a royal pedigree. My father was a gammon of bacon. My mother was a hogshead of claret wine. My godfathers were these. Peter pickled herring, and Martin martlemas beef. But my godmother, oh, she was a jolly gentlewoman. Her name was Mistress Marjorie Marchbeer. Now, Faustus, thou hast heard all my progeny. Wilt thou bid me to supper? No, I'll see thee hanged. Thou'lt eat up all my victuals. Then the devil choke thee. Choke thyself, glutton. What art thou, the sixth? <sighs> I am sloth, I am forgotten on a sunny bank, where I have lain ever since, and you have done me great injury to bring me from thence. Let me be carried thither again. <sighs> I'll not speak a word more for a king's ransom. And what are you, Mistress Minx, the seventh and last? Who, I, sir? I am one that loves an inch of raw mutton better than an ell of fried stockfish. And the first letter of my name begins with lechery. Away! To hell! To hell! <laughs> now, Faustus, how dost thou like this? Oh, this feeds my soul. But, Faustus, in hell is all manner of delight. Oh, might I see hell, and return again! How happy were I then! Faustus, thou shalt. At midnight I will send for thee. Meanwhile, peruse this book, and view it throughly, 
and thou shalt turn thyself into what shape thou wilt. Thanks, mighty Lucifer. This will I keep as cheery as my life. Now, Faustus, farewell, and think on the devil. Farewell, great Lucifer. Come, Mephistopheles. <laughs> In this extract from Dr. Faustus by Christopher Marlowe, Faustus was played by Ralph Colley, Mephistopheles by Melissa Lovett, and The Good and Evil Angels by Julia Tordovan and Miles Richardson. Lucifer was played by Gordon Ridout, Roth by Martin Ritchie, Covetousness by Tessa Hatz, and Sloth by Alex Kavanagh. Pride was played by Miles Richardson, Envy, Julia Tordovan, Gluttony, Gordon Ridout, and Lechery by Tessa Hatz. Sound recording was by Anne-Marie Dutton. Adaption and direction by Lord Strange's Men. <laughs>